Hey guys, me Dave. It is. It's uh, 5-20-2022, so it's Friday night. I'm sitting here having a couple drinks. Um, I did go to a call. Um, it was totally perped out. Um, I think I'm done with the calls, you guys. Um, they're really getting desperate. Um, they're really getting desperate. I mean, this... I think these programs are falling apart at the seams uh, or something. Something's going on. Um... You know, so, something is going on with all this stuff um, happening. Um, they just had they had so many perps there that it was unbelievable. Um, uh, and that was a Friday night call um, tonight. Um, that uh, moderator um, I know is a perp. Um, he does a call Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, now he does, he only does Fridays now, because, uh, uh, um, because now he has other people doing it, um, that are perps, <laughs> too. Um, I'll, I'll just talk about this for a second, you guys. I just want to tell you what's happening in this community. Um, so, um, but, but the, that moderator that, that hosts those calls on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is a perp. And I know that because, um, he set one of my friends up. Uh, there was a female, uh, told her to go to the FBI, um, and talk about this. Um, she did that, she got locked up for about a half hour, hour, um, he, she, she was on, well, she was on the, f or she was, she was at the FBI office, and she called this moderator, you guys, on the phone. And said, here, talk to him. Um, and he said, I don't know what she's talking about. She's crazy. And she got locked up for about a half hour. Um, for filing a false police report. Um, you know, and stuff. Um, they did let her go. Um, no charges were filed or anything like that. But this is what these people will do. They will set you up, you guys. So tonight, they, they had a guy on there talking about violence and shooting people and violence and, and all this stuff. And he lets them talk, lets them talk, lets them talk. These people are not here to help us. They are getting paid, you guys. They're getting paid to hurt us and ruin, ruin our credibility. That's what these calls are for. And that's why they only get 60, 70 people. Um... They don't get thousands, you know. So some people might be fooled and go to these calls every single night and everything. Um, I'm done going to them. I'll watch TV instead. Uh, one of my favorite shows is on now, actually, so I'll watch that. Um, I'm done going to those calls. Um, they're all they're all perped out. Um, like I say, that's why they only get 60, 70 people out of thousands. Um, people, real TIs, know They've been set up by these people, you guys. Um, just like uh, there's an older gentleman uh, that goes to the calls on Mondays and Saturdays. And um, he's always looking for a roommate. Um, he's been set up. Been set up with with, uh, with perps coming to stay with him and stuff. Um, you know, and he's an older guy. He's like 80 years old. You know, 78 years old or 80 years old. And, you know, he's been set up with perps, um, and they refuse to leave, and they're not going to pay, and all this stuff, you know, it's been a s set up with perps, and who finds these roommates for him, well, shockingly, again, it's the moderator, the moderator finds these roommates, and then they vouch for them, and they're not a perp, they're real, and, and then they move in, and they're like, I'm not paying, I'm not paying you rent, I'm not leaving, I'm not doing anything, and they have to get the sheriff out there to get the guy to leave, you know, this is the game they play, you guys, it's a dangerous game, it is, it's a dangerous game, um, they will set you up, and they will get you stranded. They will, they will do whatever to ruin you, you know. And this is what they'll do, you guys. These people are dangerous people, you know. And, and they're acting. They're all actors, you know. They they act. Oh, I'm this. 
you know, I'm this, uh, you know, they all have characters they play and they act and they can pick a character. And, you know, tonight they were talking about targeting and, and the, the girls couldn't even keep a straight face. They're sitting there laughing over the phone. You know, I mean, that's that's one true sign of you not being a real T.I. It's sitting there talking about your targeting and you can't keep a straight face. You know, there's something wrong there, you know. And they're sitting there laughing on the phone when they're talking about their targeting. Oh, I've been in this my whole life. And oh, my God. Oh, oh but they haven't got you in the psych ward yet. Bull. It's like just a bunch of fakes. Um, okay, I'm going to stop that there. Um... So, uh, what I really want to talk about is they're, they're going to try to trigger us, you guys, online, offline, in the neighborhood, and all the stuff. Um, they will, you know, they'll park on your ass uh, when you're when you're at home, and they'll do all this stuff, and and, and don't react to it. Um, it's hard not to react sometimes, but they're not worth it, you guys. Um, these people are not worth it. They are. Um, there are people who can't make it in society, um, you know, and stuff, and, and they get off on this stuff. They get off on putting people down, and, and, uh, and, and they think they have control. You know, they think they have control, you know, and it, it's a, it's, you know, it's a control thing, and, and stuff, and, uh, but don't react. Uh, let these fools be fools. And don't react. Let them get away with it, and 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 not say anything. And you know, I wouldn't take pictures. I, you know, I mean, you could do that. You know, and post them on Facebook if you wanted to be a jerk. You know, but um, just let them have their day. You know, it, it, they're not even worth it. They're not even worth your time. You know, and stuff. So I just want to say that they will trigger us. They will do things that trigger us and get reactions out of us and all this stuff. Let's just avoid these people. They're not worth it. Um, you know, they're probably going to be next someday. Um, you know, and I, I think they will be next someday. Um, there's something big going on right now. Um, I'm not sure what. Um, and there's lots of things out there. I'm not going to mention them, but there's lots of things out there in society um, going on right now, um, which is a lot of violence, um, you know, I'm not going to talk about those things on my channel, but there are some things that are happening right now, um, that happened tonight, um, you know, and it's been the third one this week, so we're, we have to wonder what's going on, what's going on with all this stuff, um, and our programs and everything else, <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. We'll see what next mo month brings and stuff. But uh, don't react to these people. Let them have their day and feel like the big man and all this stuff. It's not even, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. You know, um, we'll just tuck our tails in between our legs and, and avoid these people. It's not even worth dealing with these people, you know. Um... You know, I I already been through that. Um, I I've been through that. I I you know, I already did that. I already did that stuff. I don't need to sit here and prove myself to anybody. Um, I already been through it. You know, and stuff. But they just uh, they're laying it on thick for some reason. They're laying it on really thick. Either they're threatened or or they're too stupid to be threatened or whatever. Something's going on uh, where they feel threatened and they have to lay it on really really thick right now so something's going on anyway so i'm gonna cut this off um you guys have a good you know good friday night and i'll, I'll talk to you guys later